The objective of this lesson is to reason about the product of a whole number and a decimal with hundredths using place value understanding and estimation. Start with this problem here, 2 and 31 hundredths times 22. Let's write it out. How many hundredths is this worth? Right, 231 hundredths. We're multiplying that by 22. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. Place a 0. For the other 2, 2 is worth 20. That's why we placed a 0. 2, 6, and 4. And we can carefully add those together. Five thousand eighty-two hundredths, which equals fifty point eight two. Here's an area model for that same problem. Two times two hundred is four hundred. Two times thirty is sixty, and two times one is two. If I was to add those numbers together, you see that I do get four hundred sixty-two. Twenty times two thousand is four thousand. Twenty times thirty is six hundred, and twenty times one is twenty. Adding those together, I would get four thousand six hundred twenty. So that's my area model for that same problem. Here's 2 and 31 hundredths times 221. Let's estimate it. That's about 2 times 200, which is 400. And let's show the standard algorithm for that. 2 31 hundredths. times 221. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 2 is 2. Place a 0. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. Place two zeros. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. And add those together. Fifty-one thousand fifty-one hundredths, which when we write it into standard form, is 510.51. Show me standard algorithm to solve this problem. Pause the video while you do your work. Hopefully you wrote it out into standard form after you did your work. Place two zeros. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. And two times two is four. Hundreds. Which equals 464.31. Check over your work. Four ninety five times one point one one. That's about five hundred times one, which is five hundred. Let's find our exact answer. Four ninety five times one hundred eleven hundredths. Five, nine, four, place a zero. Five, nine, four, place two zeros. Five, nine, four. Adam. Five, fourteen, regroup a one. Fourteen, nineteen, nine, regroup a one. Fourteen, four, regroup a one, and five. And then we get to place our decimal point. 
549.45. Your turn. Estimate the product first, and then use standard algorithm to solve. It's about 1 times 500, which equals 500. And then our standard algorithm, 98 hundredths. times 495. 5 times 8 is 40, 0, regroup of 4. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 4 is 49. Place a 0. 9 times 8 is 72, 2, regroup of 7. 9 times 9 is 81, plus 7 is 88. Place two zeros. 4 times 8 is 32, 2, regroup of 3. 4 times 9 is 36, plus 3 is 39. And then we add those together. 13, 15, 5, regroup of 1. 18, regroup of 1. 4, 480, let's see, 48,510 hundredths, which will equal 485.10. So check over your work. Let's do one last problem. 102.64 times 495. That's 102 and 64 hundredths times 495. We read it as hundredths first. And then we have times 495. And then it's step by step. 5 times 4 is 20, 0, regroup of 2. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32, 2, regroup of 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13, 3, regroup of 1, 1, 5. Place two, 1, 0. 9 times 4 is 36, 6, regroup of 3. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 3 is 57. 7, regroup of 5. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 5 is 13. I'm sorry, is 23. 3, regroup of 2. 9 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. And times 9 times 1 is 9. And then our next step, place two zeros, and we're multiplying by 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 6, regroup of 1. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25, 5, regroup of 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, 0, regroup of 1. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and 4 times 1 is 4. And then you carefully add them together. 0, 8. 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 6 is 16, 6, regroup of 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5, plus 5 is another 10. 0, regroup the 1. 8, 9 and 1 is 10, regroup of 1. There. That's hundredths. So our answer when we're multiplying these together is 50,806 and 80 hundredths.